Hi friends, this is Sunil Bhatnagar again present before you on a burning topic that is why stellometer results are found correlate, they are having a better correlation with the arm strength as compared to HVA. Uh, friends, as you are all aware that strength is a predom predominated characteristics of fiber. And this is the second most important property after length. And in case of uh, if we want to have the fiber uh, which is to be used for textile purpose, so the maximum strength a fiber is 6 centinewton per tex. And the other is the ex uh, strength is expressed as breaking strength or the elongation is breaking elongation and normally it is measured as tenacity that is the gram per tex or centinewton per tex. Now what are the factors which affects the uh, strength? Now relative humidity is one of the criteria then the basic principle of the instrument uh, on which you are testing then it depends on the material, the weak places of the material, the molecular weight of the substance and so on. Now here, uh, as we are aware that for fiber testing, we are having different instruments like Instron, then uh, we are having the, the that is uh, Stellometer, then again we are using. So, Stellometer is there, HVI is there, Tesla index is there, Instron is there. But in majority of the cases, what we have seen that the basic principle the different from machine to machine, and another is that all the uh, instrument, most of the instrument, they are basically checking the bundle strength. Because why the bundle strength is preferred? Because there you are using number of fibers and the average of the reading will give you the exactness of the report. So uh, as we are all aware that our testing uh, equipment, whether they are Tesla, Stellometer, HVI, they are based on the certain principle. The first is constant rate of extension. Third is rate of increase of length is uniform with time. Another is constant rate of loading, that is the rate of increase of load is uniform with time and extension is depend on load elongation curve. While in CRT, this is the constant rate of traverse and here what we are doing, the load is applied through one clamp and the pulling one clamp at a uniform rate. Now, as we are all aware that here uh, we are having two instruments, we have to compare the HVI results with uh, this particular equipment that is the uh, HVI. Now, the basic difference between the two is the principle. Here the principle is CRL, that is constant rate of loading, while in that case it is a constant rate of extension. Another basic difference is that HVI takes less time of break as compared to Stellometer. Another difference is that in the stellometer, the fibers which are placed in the on uh, clamp, they are combed so that the short fibers are removed and the gripping is better. While in case of HVI equipment, the this is not we are not combing, and due to that, the gripping is not there. Another uh, difference is there that in stellometer after the breaking takes place what happens what we do we take out the mass which is broken that is the tough and then it is weighed physically on the balance but wh while in HVI what we are doing we are estimating the mass by optical means and in that case, the crimp also contribute, influence our result. So the HVI results are 
not actual, they are estimated. So what we conclude from this comparison, the first is stellometer strength correlates with Young strength. Whenever you are doing any research work, whenever you are doing any, uh, say, new invention, and when, wherever you want the actual result to, of breaking strength should be there, then stellometer is preferred. Second is, never compare the stellometer result with the HVM. The reason is, the result will be significantly different. If you take a cotton and test it with stellometer and other is test with HVA, then the difference will be significant. Another point is the HVI does not give us actual, it only estimate. So friends, this is all for today. And now the question normally asked that what is the meaning of stellometer? Stello means strength and elongation. So com combination of these two gives us the word that is stellometer. So friends, this is all for today. I hope that if you like this topic, then please write to us so that we get, give you much better service. Thank you. Have a nice day.